The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is an American strategic bomber under development for the United States Air Force USAF, by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, program, it is to be a long-range, stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the USAF, able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The Air Force intends the B-21 to replace the Rockwell B-1 Lancer and Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit by 2040, and possibly the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress after that. The Air Force began planning for the B-21 in 2011 and was awarded the major development contract in 2015. The B-21 is expected to make its first flight in 2023 and enter service by 2027. Many aspects of the B-21 program are highly classified. The program is designated as a special access program. The Congressional Research Service noted in 2021 that the B-21's technical details and specifications, such as speed, enabling systems, size, required stealth, structure, number and type of engines, projected weapons, and onboard sensors remain classified although some information about various other aspects of the program has been made public since 2015. The first photos of the aircraft were released on the 2nd of December 2022, taken during a rollout ceremony at Northrop Grumman's production facilities in Palmdale, California. The last B-2 Spirit stealthy long-range strategic bomber was delivered to the U.S. Air Force in 2000. At the time, this was the only operational stealthy strategic bomber capable of delivering nuclear weapons. In 2014, a long-range strike bomber, LRSB, project was launched by the U.S. Air Force to acquire a successor for the B-2. Companies like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman were working on the development of new bombers. Eventually, the design of the Northrop Grumman was selected. Furthermore, Northrop Grumman produced the previous B-2 Spirit bomber. In 2016 the new bomber received the official B-21 designation. The new B-21 Raider is a more modern version of the B-2 Spirit. It has a similar design, however, it is a new aircraft, rather than a modified version of the B-2. In 2021 there were reports that two B-21 bombers were built and are ready for testing. The B-21 was publicly unveiled in 2022. The first flight could be made during the same year. It is believed that the type will reach initial operating capability during the next few years. It will form the backbone of the US long-range bomber fleet alongside the B-2 Spirit, B-1 Lancer, and B-52 Stratofortress. There were some reports that the U.S. Air Force wants to start replacing its oldest B-2 Spirit bombers in the mid-2020s. In 2020, the U.S. Ministry of Defense announced that they might order 145 B-21 bombers if the flight tests will be successful. By 2022, some of the B-2 airframes could be nearly 30 years old and the newest ones are 22 years old. Interestingly, the aging B-52 Stratofortress strategic bombers, which were developed back in the late 1940s, will remain in service with the U.S. Air Force. The bat-like B-21 Raider was developed to attack Russian and Chinese targets of the highest priority with nuclear weapons. This bomber is made of composite material with a radar-absorbent honeycomb structure. It also has a special coating which provides much of its stealth. 
It was designed using far more advanced computers than the B2 and on first look has more aerodynamic surfaces, while maintaining stealth. The B-21 is smaller and lighter than the B-2. This bomber has minimal radar and infrared signature. It has a radar cross-section that should be around 0.0001 square meters. This stealthy bomber can carry new weapons including nuclear-tipped stealthy cruise missiles, such as AGM-158A JASM and extended-range AGM-158B jasm ur These stealthy missiles were specially designed to penetrate advanced Russian and Chinese air defense systems. The AGM-158A has a range of 370 km, while the improved AGM-158B has a range of 930 km. Both missiles have conventional warheads. So the B-21 can launch its missiles at standoff range, without entering the enemy air defense zone. Around 16 of these missiles can be carried. The B-21 Raider can also carry AGM-154C JSOW precision glide bombs. These have a range of 22 to 130 kilometers depending on release altitude and were designed to attack hardened targets. Other weapons carried by the B-21 could include thermonuclear free-fall bombs and penetration bombs. It is unclear if the B-21 Raider uses a shielded radar, electro-optical systems, or satellite navigation system to identify its targets. Though it is most likely that this aircraft has an advanced electronic warfare system, this bomber is operated by a crew of two. The cockpit, as well as instrument panels of the B-21 bomber, were kept in secrecy. The unit price of the B-21 Raider is unknown, however most likely that it exceeds the B-2 price of $900 million per unit by a significant margin. So highly likely that the B-21 is the costliest warplane ever built.